We're at the intersection of uh, 61st and Locust Street, just a few doors down from where Mr. Wallace was shot and killed by police last night. There is certainly anger in this neighborhood, and questions are being raised about the use of force. The family of Walter Wallace Jr. shouts to neighbors and reporters gathered along the 6100 block of Locust Street. It was here Monday afternoon that the 27-year-old was shot to death by police responding to a call from a man with a knife. All I know about, he was a good guy and the cops didn't have to kill him like that. <laughs> Cell phone video recorded at the scene shows Wallace advancing on two officers who order him to drop his knife and then the cops fire. Bree Riddick watched the shooting from an upset stairs window i seen a man having an altercation along with i'm not sure if it was his mother his sister the cops came to the escalator next thing i know they draw their guns and they shot him as he was walking around the cars wallace died at the hospital the shooting set off unrest in the city leading to a female officer suffering a broken leg when hit by a truck the mayor says he's spoken with the family last night we saw further evidence of the anguish of black and brown residents of our city who have struggled their entire lives under systemic racism Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw offered few details of the shooting investigation Tuesday afternoon, but did say the officers did not have tasers. These officers uh, had not been deployed tasers, as is the case uh, with many other officers here in the department. Outlaw also says police arrived without a supervisor. Lawyers huddled with the family this afternoon. This is a lack of training issue. This is a lack of uh, 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 equipment issue. As a crowd gathered in front of Wallace's home, a family member spoke of the loss. All I heard was people saying, don't shoot, don't shoot. And they didn't have to shoot. He had a knife. They didn't have to shoot. What should they have done? They should, they should, they could have, look, they could have, they could hit with a taser. Again. Uh, Police Commissioner Danielle Outlaw says the officers did not carry tasers with them. They simply had not been trained. Mr. Wallace was the father of at least three children. Fox 29 has confirmed that officers were called to the home earlier in the day Monday. We've also confirmed that Mr. Wallace suffered with mental health issues. We will learn much more tonight at 8 o'clock when his family is expected to speak to reporters in front of his home. Live here in West Philly, I'm Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. Well, this is a sad situation. Um, yeah, so, you know, apparently Walter Wallace Jr., 27, was shot 14 times. 14 times. Now, why must you shoot 14 times? Granted, you shot him, okay? That was wrong because you should have had tasers. So it seems as if West Philly or the chief or the city is liable because if the police did not the police officers did not have tasers and they were they were not trained but yet they're on the street that's west philly's um problem right not the family not wallace jr but west philly's why is it that the officers have not been trained to use tasers is it that you want the officers to kill people again also, why is it that people or officers are not trained on how to deal with mental illness? And I understand that you guys, you know, from all cities, from all walks of life, that, you know, you have to deal with some type of crazy mental illness daily. I understand. I get it. I get it. But you guys have got to understand that you, you just can't shoot them up. Like this is 2020. How many marches? How many protests? How you know long was the, the country shut down? Because we are tired of you killing us like we are animals. This is 2020, but you don't get it. 
You don't get it. You don't get it. You didn't get it when Obama was president. You didn't get it when Trump was president. And you're definitely not going to get it when Biden and um, Harris become the leaders of this nation. You're not going to get it. And I don't know who is sponsoring this type of insanity. Is it the KKK? Is it the, uh, you know, the Aryan nation? Is it, you know, the the one percenters? Is it just, you know, white people all over America? I, I don't know. I don't know if it's Indians all over America. I don't know if it's Me Mexicans all over America. I don't know if it's the blacks over America. I don't know if it's Asians over America. I don't know, but this mentality has got to stop. No, it really has got to stop because, you know, as I was saying with, um, when um, George Floyd died and all the marching. Okay, so what is the marching going to do? What is the marching going to do? Like um, Dr. Anderson was like, hey, why are we marching? We, we've been marching for the past, what, 100 years. And we're still getting shot. We're still getting shot like animals, like we're worthless piece of meat. You know, we it's still what thirty three, thirty six thousand um, black prisoners in California. I don't even know how many are in West Philadelphia or whatever. And I heard that those is it Philadelphia? I think that prison they have a prison in Philadelphia. I think Meech is in Big Meech is in Philadelphia. Anyway, I heard that prison is no good. I heard that prison in Philadelphia. I don't know what it's called, but I heard it is nothing nice. But why is it so common for my black brothers, my black sons, my black nephews, my black fathers, uncles to be in jail or to be killed like we're animals, like we don't matter. We fucking built this goddamn country and you're going to kill us like we're some fucking animals. I'm fucking sick and tired of making these goddamn videos. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of making it in my junky ass room. I'm tired of making it in my goddamn garage late at night. I'm tired of making it, period. Now, Biden, with your old ass, you need to either, if you gonna shit, you know, go ahead and shit. If not, get the fuck off the pot. I swear on everything I love, if Kamala Harris gets elected and that high yellow bougie bitch don't do nothing about all of this, it ain't gonna be enough videos on youtube for me it ain't gonna be enough wigs for me to wear to be on youtube cursing out her i swear on everything i love and i don't give a fuck who she is i don't care who she knows i don't care how i'm affiliated with it i'm sick of this shit i'm really sick and tired of seeing my nephews my and i'm not saying people by blood i'm saying any black man son nephew not by blood just black just by being black being shot and killed like how is it that every fucking city in america feels like they can shoot a black man on a dime it has to be like i said in other videos it has to be somewhere in the police academies somewhere some type of code where it says kill a black man as many as you can before you retire as a cop and you will not be you know punished it has to say that somewhere like the grand you know police chief of america i don't know is that the president i don't know who it is or the who's the the person in charge of all the police forces in america they have to be saying something because there's no way that every month literally every month if not every week if not every day you hear about you know a, a black man being viciously shot to death by a cop it's not every day that you don't hear about a black man being viciously killed by another black man. But 
I don't think that other black man is being paid. I don't think that other black man has benefits. I don't think that other black man has a retirement. I don't think that that, you know, black man is being furnished with a gun to kill a black man. Whereas a cop, whereas a white cop is getting benefits, is getting an hourly, is getting um, a retirement, is getting, you know, his mortgage paid, um, is getting his drugs paid for. You see what I'm saying? Is being issued out a gun, is being issued out a taser, is being issued out a body camera to protect the masses. But instead of protecting the masses, they are killing black men in masses. Does that make sense? Because if it doesn't, I really need you guys to understand. And again, I'm not against the brothers in blue. What I'm against about is the mentality of why you feel it's so easily, you're so easily able to kill a black man. When a, a, a white boy could have a knife, the white boy could have a knife, uh, 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 what is that, a 47K, you know what I'm saying? Hand grenades, don't, it won't get killed. But a black man with a knife or without a knife, he doesn't even have to have a knife. He doesn't even have anything and they'll kill him. Oh, he made a, uh, he made a quick move. Oh, we felt threatened. That's what they got to say. They, you know what, and I call y'all some puns. Because if you feel that threatened, take your ass off the force. If you're that much of a punk, because you can see in the and you could see in the uh, in this video that they were running like, oh my god, oh my god, what are we gonna? Do? Oh my god, let's shoot, let's shoot like some bitches. I know I'm just cursing in um, YouTube now. I don't care. I don't care. It's not monetized. I only got you know a few a few subscribers. I got 237 today. I only got a few subscribers. If you don't like my cursing, then you know unsubscribe. I don't. But it's really getting, it, it's not really getting, it's been, it's gotten. It's to the point where it's just like, you know, what's the answer? What's the answer? What's the solution to this equation where you feel that you got to kill a black man every week? Every week, every week a black man is getting killed by a police officer. Every single week. We have 52 weeks in a year. I can guarantee you there's been 52 black men killed by a police in somewhere in our country this year. I, I'm, I'm sure it, it, there could be more. But I can guarantee you there's been 52 black men killed in America this year by cops every week. And they're not even getting, you know, arrested. Look how long they took to, uh, to arrest uh, Aubrey. The, the men who killed Aubrey. And the only reason why they, they had that because of the evidence that one of them had. That's the only reason why. See, the only reason why... Um, what is going on with the guy who killed George Floyd? If it wasn't for that camera footage, no. You, we wouldn't even know. That eight minutes and 46 seconds, if that young lady had not taken that film, had, had that camera that take that video, we would have never known. They would have lied. You know cops do lie. Well, actually, everybody. Cops lie. Politicians lie. Lawyers lie. Um, you know, doctors lie. Everybody lies. Everybody lie. I lie. You lie. Whatever. They would have lied. But you're supposed to be protecting us. How does protecting in line, how does that coincide? Judges lie. Principals lie. Bosses lie. Companies lie. Everybody lies. Everybody lies. Nuns lie. Priests definitely lie. <laughs> So what are we going to do? I, I, you know, I, I, I just don't know because I'm sick of making these fucking videos. I really am. Now, this young man is 27, the same age as my son. He has three kids and he's dead because he had a knife. And, and, and he had a mental issue. Don't they get some type of 
other protection with having a mental issue like once you tell someone okay you know i'm autistic or you know i'm schizoid or whatever isn't there some type of protocol that needs to be um delivered or followed like once you have what a 5150 is there a group of police officers who are trained in dealing with mental issues or mental patients is there a group that needs to be called in like hey we got 5150 on our hands you need to come here you know shouldn't the the the, the, the dispatchers be like okay 5150 we have the case of 5150 so we know this person is mentally unstable let's you know de-escalate it and see if we can you know take care of this issue without killing someone is that too hard i don't know i'm not a cop i wanted to be a cop shoot the way y'all acting i need to be a, a, a police chief and fire kick somebody's butt during all this i don't know how many how many videos am i gonna have to make this year like what is it gonna take for these white cops or just white cops period to understand that you don't need to kill someone 14 shots one would have done it one could have stopped him if you would have shot it in wherever you know but it seems like you guys don't want to you you guys don't want to save these people you want to kill them mm -mm. didn't i did like i said this on another video but i heard that if you shoot someone you better kill them because if not you'll be broke for the rest of your life that's what i heard i don't even know but i've heard this a couple of times I think that's what they're teaching in these academies. Is is it is that it? Is that what they're teaching in Academy 101? I mean, Police Academy 101, if you're going to shoot them, you better kill them. Cuz you are do you guys are doing you're definitely doing that part of your job. That is definitely the uh rhyme or reason of what's going on here. I I don't know. I honestly I don't know. But please get it together and stop killing my people.